We're actually right here at the Medrano stop. And like always, I want to give you a little tour of the neighborhood where we stayed. There's a lot of like pizzerias in this neighborhood. Plaza Almagro. It's nice to go for a little walk like this through the neighborhood where we've been staying the last few weeks. Welcome back everyone, Buenos Aires, Argentina. We're here again in beautiful Buenos Aires. And today is actually going to be the last video from our stay this time here in Buenos Aires. And like always, I want to give you a little tour of the neighborhood where we stayed. And that neighborhood this time was the neighborhood of Almagro. So come along. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you want to help out the channel and help it grow, I really would appreciate it. Click on the like button down there, the subscribe button, and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop. It really helps the channel grow because it's going to help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video, enjoy. So here in the neighborhood of Almagro, we're actually not too far away from a neighborhood where we've already stayed. Uh, the neighborhood where we stayed the last time we were here in Buenos Aires. Last time we were here, we stayed in Chacarita. This time, <coughs> Almagro, which is on the same subte line as Chacarita. It is about four, I think, four or five stops um, closer to Centro, to the center of the city, you know, where like the obelisk is, the famous Buenos Aires obelisk. So it's a little bit closer to the center, which means um, it's a little bit of a uh, like busier neighborhood. There are more high-rise buildings like these high-rise apartments. We're actually staying in one of those buildings, which is a little different from some of the previous places where we've stayed here in Buenos Aires the last two times we've been here. First time we were out in Wilde, out in the corner urbano, the suburbs, and then we were in Chacarita, and the apartment we stayed in Chacarita was just a little, like, above a storefront um, apartment, up above a cafe. And if you want to see any of those videos about those neighborhoods where we stayed, along with all the other neighborhoods where we've stayed in every city that we've visited so far in South America, there's a playlist that I put together, and there's a link to that playlist down in the description, so check that out. But here in El Magro, as you can see, as we basically just walked from our apartment and like one block away, we're actually right here at the Medrano stop on line B, the Subte. So, one of the good things about this neighborhood, and specifically where we stayed in the neighborhood, is we're like one block away from the Subte station. We're also on a street where there are lots of bus lines like that, and this one here, this major cross street here that we're about to cross is Corrientes. And Corrientes, Avenida Corrientes, is a major, major throughway through the entire city. But if you go that way, uh, east on Corrientes, you'll end up at the uh, obelisk. So basically, there's tons of public transportation options very easily accessible here in the neighborhood. And if you've watched any of these other videos about some of the neighborhoods that we've stayed in, you know that that is a must for me. I don't have a car. I don't rent cars. I don't like taking Ubers and taxis if I don't have to. I really like to take advantage of the public transportation in any city that I'm visiting and staying in. So perfect, perfect spot for us right here in the Almagro neighborhood, close to public transportation. As you can see also, there's a lot of uh, like shops and restaurants and cafes along this street, but also back there at the corner and along like Corrientes and just up a block where we are staying and even down a few blocks this way. Um, it's a typical Buenos Aires neighborhood that pops up around one of those subte stops. Basically, everything that you will need uh, while you're staying is going to be within a couple of blocks. So you can do your grocery shopping, you can do, uh, you can, you know, go to a cafe or a restaurant or a bar or anything that you really need is going to be within a few blocks. 
and that is the case for this place as well, this neighborhood. And uh, it's one of the things, honestly, that I really, really love about Buenos Aires. I mean, now I've visited here three times, and each time um, I have enjoyed my stay. I've stayed in different neighborhoods, and I've enjoyed my stay every time. And one of the things I just really love about it is pretty much every neighborhood I've been in so far has just been highly, highly walkable. It's something that I've talked about in the previous videos, and I will continue to stress. It's one of my favorite things about Buenos Aires, walkable neighborhoods. Something coming from the United States, in a lot of cities in the United States, you just don't have these kinds of neighborhoods. Or if you do have a neighborhood like this, where it's highly walkable with access, easy access to like reliable and consistent public transportation, um, it's going to be like an extremely expensive neighborhood and it's going to be highly, highly in demand. Um, and around here, it kind of seems like all the neighborhoods are like that, at least a lot of neighborhoods that I've stayed in and visited, much more so than in a lot of cities in the United States. Anyway, we we'll head to south here, a couple more blocks, maybe one more block south and then we'll cut over because there is actually a beautiful plaza down here, Plaza Alamagro. Another great thing about a lot of neighborhoods in Buenos Aires, there's beautiful parks and plazas. If you walk a couple of blocks, you usually find one. And we're gonna check this one out. So we've gotten it out of the way, of course, but the two things that I like most about this neighborhood um, are the same things that I've liked about the other neighborhoods that I've been to and that I've stayed in, and that is public transportation access and uh, walkability. Definitely a great thing. But another thing about this neighborhood that I like is um, it has a lot of, like a, a, a more kind of a uh, busy urban feel. I don't know how else to explain it. The last neighborhood we stayed in, in Chacarita, uh, is a little bit further away from the center of the city. So it just wasn't as busy. And a lot of times I like that. In fact, most of the time, if I could decide like one neighborhood that I would, the type of neighborhood that I would want to stay in like long term, if I were to literally move to Argentina and want to stay here for, you know, many, many years, that's the kind of neighborhood I would rather be in, is a neighborhood that is a little less busy, a little more uh, tranquilo, right? But still has you know, access to public transportation. I can easily get to other neighborhoods. I can easily get to Centro. That's the kind of neighborhood I'd be looking for. But I'm not living in Buenos Aires. I'm not living in Argentina. I'm on vacation. And sometimes when you're on vacation, it's nice to go to neighborhoods that you wouldn't necessarily want to like, or at least I wouldn't necessarily want to live in that neighborhood full time. But I'd like to stay in it, you know, for a few weeks, and just see what it's like. And that's what we did here. Stayed here in Buenos Aires for a few weeks. Let's cut through the construction zone here. Uh, we got to see a lot of cool things and do a lot of fun things. And we got to stay in a neighborhood that maybe we don't typically stay in and had a pretty good experience doing it. So I quite enjoyed that. Um, now, I will say though, after um, staying in a, a, a sort of a busier neighborhood, a neighborhood that's a little more like, um, there's more foot traffic, there's more car traffic, there's just more, 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 um, a little more frenetic, a little more hectic. After staying in that type of a neighborhood for a little while, um, I am happy that when we move on here from Buenos Aires to another city in Argentina, um, the city that we're going to is going to be a little more relaxed. I'm not going to give it away, no spoilers. But, as you can see here, there are some pretty high, like, upscale cafes in this neighborhood. It is a pretty upscale neighborhood. Um, I would not say that it is uh, a very, very tourist-heavy populated neighborhood. This is sort of the difference, I think, between Line D the green soup day line and line B, the red soup day line that we are on. 
Um, line D, the green line, is very upscale. There are a lot of very upscale neighborhoods on there, Recoleta, Palermo, Belgrano. Um, and there are also a lot of tourists that stay along that line. And if you are a tourist and you come here to Buenos Aires, you will probably end up staying somewhere on that line based on like the recommendations you get and the research you do. By the way, here we are in Plaza Almagro. It's a really beautiful plaza on a very beautiful sunny day. Uh, very warm, We're getting into spring here in Buenos Aires. People out here doing aerobics, people hanging out with their dogs. Um, excellent, very excellent. Very happy about walking out today on one of our last days here in Buenos Aires. It's nice to go for a little walk like this through the neighborhood where we've been staying the last few weeks. Um, but like I was saying, that uh, line D, I've visited several neighborhoods along that line and I enjoy those neighborhoods. But I think this line, line uh, B, the red soup de line, has a lot of na great neighborhoods along it as well. And it is something where if you were visiting from out of town and you wanted, a, you wanted to stay in a place that, um, you know, had like nice restaurants, nice cafes, neighborhoods that were pretty safe and um, with, you know, beautiful parks and plazas like this with like lots of things to see and do and with access, easy access to other neighborhoods via public transportation, some place that's sort of centrally located. Like the neighborhoods along this line, line B, uh, I, I would definitely consider staying here in these neighborhoods instead of staying in the neighborhoods, the typical tourist neighborhoods up along like line D, right? So instead of um, instead of Recoleta, instead of Palermo, instead of Belgrano, consider staying out here in like Abasto or Almagro or out in Chacarita. Um, I think you might be pleasantly surprised by these neighborhoods and by how um, uh, how nice they are because I have been pleasantly surprised by these neighborhoods and how nice they are. This line, I think, um, I don't know. I, I would say it doesn't, it's not something, like most of these neighborhoods, when I was doing the original research on where to stay, my first trip to Buenos Aires, most of these neighborhoods were never even mentioned in any of the, you know, sources or resources that I found. Um, definitely, certainly not mentioned not, not nearly mentioned as much as any of those neighborhoods up along Line D. And also, because there are four east-west um, Supte lines, right? If you look at this map right here of the Supte, you can see there's four east-west Supte lines, right? There's Line D, the northernmost one, Line B here, Line A, which was the original um, Supte line, the first one, and then also uh, line E, that purple line down south. And line uh, B is like more centrally located, right? It runs through sort of the center part of the city from north to south. So like, you're actually kind of closer to stuff when you're on line B, right? On line D, you're way up in the north, you're a little bit further away from some of the neighborhoods down, you know, like south and down on line E, like that line, I will be honest, doesn't get a lot of, um, of people riding on it. We actually took that line in our video where we went out to the Autodromo to see the races, track day. Um, link to that video in the description, of course. But we took that line and uh, it's pretty empty. There's not a lot of stuff along that line. Um, the only thing that we've really been to along that line in any of our stays here in Buenos Aires was we went through the neighborhood of Caballito and we went to the uh, historic tramway, the Tranvia Historico. Link to that video in the description as well. I would say out of all three lines, the one, or all four lines rather, those east-west lines, Line B is my favorite. It is 
it is the uh, the best of all worlds, I think, along line B. Okay, now I've spent probably way too much time talking about uh, about subway line or yeah, like soup day lines here in Buenos Aires. But I think it's interesting because, look, all of these neighborhood videos that I make, they all end up kind of being the same. The same things that I like about other neighborhoods, I like about this neighborhood. And because I'm looking for those things specifically when I choose a neighborhood to stay in, um, and because this is my third visit to Buenos Aires, I know the city pretty well at this point. Um, I know the different neighborhoods. I was pretty confident when I, uh, when I chose this neighborhood that I was gonna like it, and I did. So we kind of got past all the uh, things that I liked about the neighborhood in like the first five minutes of the video. So now, well, now we gotta talk about some other stuff. But let's put this back here on uh, Avenida Medrano. Uh, so what are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about the soup day lines because more than just should you or should you not stay in this neighborhood, hopefully this video if you're a tourist or a potential visitor to Buenos Aires who's thinking about coming here, um, hopefully this video will give you more information, not just about this neighborhood specifically, but about Buenos Aires in general and like what other neighborhoods you might consider staying in and why. Um, so, just another bonus that I will throw in there for the uh, Line B and all the neighborhoods along Line B, they are uh, less expensive to stay in than the neighborhoods along Line D. The typical tourist neighborhoods along Line D are quite expensive to stay in, um, and they are, not just because they're very nice neighborhoods, but because they are the typical tourist neighborhoods. And anytime you're staying in a typical tourist neighborhood in any city that you're going to, stuff's gonna be more expensive. The other thing I'd like to point out, and uh, this is not based, honestly, on any kind of statistics that I know about here in Buenos Aires. In general, Buenos Aires is a very safe city, um, which is great as a visitor from somewhere else to come here and visit and feel safe enough to, you know, like, walk around holding my camera out like this and film. And compared to a lot of other cities in Latin America, Buenos Aires is very safe. But one thing I've found in pretty much every city I've visited is the neighborhoods where you're more likely to get pickpocketed or you're more likely to have someone like, you know, try and pull a snatch and grab on your phone or something like that. Those neighborhoods, honestly, are the more touristy neighborhoods because like that's where the money is, right? Tourists walking around, with expensive cameras, wearing expensive jewelry, rocking expensive iPhones. Like, there are more targets, basically. So there's a higher percentage that something like that's gonna happen in those neighborhoods. Now, I wouldn't say that to discourage people from staying in any of those touristy neighborhoods, that you're gonna be like, unsafe, unsafe, because those are very safe neighborhoods, like I said. but just something to think about. Anyway, I seem to have walked a little ways. I've gotten a little turned around and I'm not quite sure exactly where we are. So let's get up to the corner here and we'll figure out uh, where we are so we can head start heading back to the, uh, the apartment. So to point out another thing about this neighborhood, um, like I said, everything very walkable, and you will be able to find the classic little uh, Buenos Aires supermercados, right? Very small grocery stores, and also like carnicerias, butcher shops, uh, vegetable markets, and things like that. But should you need a larger grocery store, there are a couple that were quite close to where we were staying. One of them is this one, the uh, Disco, as you can see. It's a normal, like, uh, normal for, like, United States standards, size uh, grocery store. A large, like, multi-service grocery store where you can sort of one-stop shop. Um, that's, that's a thing that is very, very common in the United States. It's not as common here in Argentina, especially not here in Buenos Aires. 
in Buenos Aires, a lot of people when they shop, uh, they'll go to a few different places. They'll go to maybe like a vegetable market, like that one across the street there. They'll go to a separate butcher shop, uh, maybe a separate like little supermercado to get dry goods, and and then they'll call it a day. And it's easy to do that because there's you know a bunch of these places. There's a vegetable market right there. There's another one right here. There's a carniceria actually that I know of, like just a block from here. So it's very easy to do that kind of shopping. But if that's not exactly your thing and you want more of a like um, shopping experience of what it's what you get when you're like shopping typically in the United States or in like most places in Europe, and you want to go to like a large um, uh, supermarket, like a large grocery store like that, uh, they have those here. There's that place that we just walked by, the disco. And then also about three blocks up and two blocks over, there is another one, a Vea. And in addition to that, a little further out um, in any direction, there are more of those. So they're, they're, they're sort of like scattered throughout the neighborhood. And if you can find them, then you can definitely hit those places up and do a sort of a one-stop shop. Now another thing that this neighborhood, at least I noticed, is there's a lot of like pizzerias in this neighborhood. Um, right on the corner by um, by uh, Medrado, the, the soup they stop. Right on the corner there is an Imperio. We actually visited the original El Imperio in our first video from our last visit, Buenos Aires. Link in the description, of course, where we compared that pizzeria in Chacarita to Santa Maria Pizzeria, right down the street in Chacarita. The two oldest, like, most famous pizzerias in that neighborhood. And Imperio has a couple other locations other than that original one, and one of them is, like, right here at the Medrano stop, like, two blocks up from where we are right now. And right next to that, there is a pizzeria called Pimpun. And that place is like super old. Those other two pizzerias that we visited in that previous video were from like the 1940s, I think 1946. They were both like opened. And Bing Poon was open back in like the 20s. Um, so it's a super old pizzeria. I visited, I thought the pizza was pretty good. And it was cool to visit because like, it's just a super old historic pizzeria. And this neighborhood has a cool blend of like more modern restaurants, cafes and things like that, but also like older, um, like very, I don't know, like more classic style places. Like for example, let's see if we can see this here. Let's cross the street here, because right here on the corner, there is a little cafe slash bar um, called La Orquida or, or La Orquidea. La Orquidea. And this place is like very, very classic style. Um, I went here a couple of times. Very, very cool. Actually, after um, our trip to the Autodromo with Charlie XP, we went to this place. The uh, La Orquidea. We went there for a little, uh, like a little um, merienda, a little afternoon snack. It's very pleasant. I also want to say a quick shout out to our buddy, Charlie XP, who has featured in a couple of our videos here from this, uh, this current stay out to the uh, Autodromo, of course, but also to the Museo Nacional Aeronautico, the Air and Space Museum out on the military base. And uh, I really enjoyed like having somebody to go with to these things and Charlie's a good guy he's a really good guy and I have a lot of fun hanging out with him so uh, let me just say it right now Charlie thank you very much for coming along on some adventures and specifically thank you for driving to and from some of those adventures that was very very kind of you and to everybody who's watching this video who maybe doesn't know about Charlie um, there's a link to his channel down in the description. Please go and subscribe to his channel because he is also making content. He is making content about like Argentina, 
and more specifically Buenos Aires, and he makes excellent videos. I really like his videos. Every time they pop up in my feed, I always watch them, and I think you should too. Anyway, we're back here uh, on the street where our apartment is. Just another block down here, maybe. <coughs> so we're getting close to uh, where we're gonna wrap up this video, I think. And what is there to say about this neighborhood? Like I said, I already kind of knew going into it that I was gonna like this neighborhood. Um, now, originally, here's a little reveal for you. I had planned after Salta to go to a different country. I had planned to leave Argentina and go to a different country, and I just sort of changed my mind, really because, I don't know, I felt like I was really enjoying myself in Argentina, and one of the things that I always wanted to do was to visit Buenos Aires in the springtime. When we visited Buenos Aires, our first time here, it's basically summer by the time we got here, which is nice, but I had always heard about how nice Buenos Aires is in the spring, right? The weather is starting to get warm, just the beautiful, like, everything in bloom, and I really am glad that I made the decision to come back because having the opportunity to come even just for a few weeks and visit Buenos Aires in the springtime, sort of an iconic, uh, an iconic visit, right? And I would highly recommend to anybody who is thinking about coming and visiting Buenos Aires that springtime down here is a beautiful, beautiful time to come and visit. And if you have the opportunity to do it, to come visit Buenos Aires in the spring, I would highly, highly recommend doing it. Anyway, we're back here at uh, Avenida Mendorano and uh, we're like a half a block, less than a block away from our apartment where we were staying. So I think this is gonna be it. I think we're going to call it here for this video. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you an idea of what this neighborhood is like, this neighborhood Almagro here in Buenos Aires, because I really enjoyed staying here. And um, like I said, we're going to be moving on from Buenos Aires, but we're going to be staying in Argentina. So we're going to a different city in Argentina. And I'm not going to tell you which one it is. So if you want to see where we end up next here in Argentina, you're going to have to stay tuned. And we'll see you next time.